Yeah. I think so. Tony! Tony, you've got company! Oh, I have to pee. Drop your pillow. Yes, you can. Tony? You up here? That's my blasted floor piece. Ah, there you are. Brew? Yeah, thanks. Sorry, love. Yeah, this was interesting. My uncle's knackered. What was? Maps to Nate as Ed's. London, Basingstoke, Bristol and Bath. I'm getting too old for this. You are. That pillock's just twisted his ankle. Only twisted. Got Flossie's internet history. She's been running searches on Tony Buckley. Could she have found anything? Well, I did it myself before we sent Jamie in. There wasn't anything. Australian film producer Cardi and nothing on our Tony Buckley. I'll check the site she's been visiting. Listen. Did you ever kill someone? <laughs> now, there's a stupid question to ask a mercenary. What's it like? I mean, how do you keep calm? How do you crush your compassion, steel yourself to take another life? Just think about getting the round down and in the target. Tap. Tap? Yeah. Tap. Move on. Next job. That cold, eh? That's what you try for. I enjoy it. Being good at it. I was in the Sudan. Seen a lot of death there. Mostly starvation. What was you doing? <laughs> what was I doing? Yeah. I was taking photographs. Nice arty, beautifully composed studies of dying babies. Then back to the hotel, my bottle of Evian. It was all about debt. You see, the country could never be made to run at a profit, so the West could choose between writing off the debt or shoring up unpopular regimes by flogging them weapons, which, of course, meant more debt. So guess what they chose? The men who make those decisions deserve to die. Do you know the name Lundberg? Lundberg? Yeah. European bank or something. Someone had a shot at him a few weeks back. But sadly he missed. Just get the round in. Tap. Move on, next job. Well, what a difference a bit of training can make, yeah? And how much better to kill someone who deserves to die. You wouldn't have missed, would you? Listen. We'll, um... We'll talk again, yeah? Yeah.
you're probably so used to this, you don't know what I'm talking about, but... But I can't go out there. I mean, I need to pee really badly, but I can't go out in case anyone's there. <laughs> I won't shush. I don't care who he is. I just want to go. But I don't want to. Oh. Sorry. Anyone for tea? Oh. Sorry. Marital strife. Yeah. Simon left you a message. He said he'd be back tomorrow evening and he wanted to know if you'd be here. Yeah. Listen, uh, me and Molly are gonna get away for a while. Give you guys some space. Back tomorrow. If that's all right with you. Yeah, well, it's not all right with me. I've got half the regiment stood to watch That's your problem. And Lorraine is yours. She's not up to it. She's gonna crack any moment. If I go back in there, I'm going along because she'll... She's a sweet girl, yeah, but she's not up to it. It's not her fault. She's a university graduate. She's not been through six months of SAS training. Yeah, well, we're supposed to be the ultimate professionals, and this is just a joke. He's right. Of course he's right. But he can't go back in there without her, otherwise his cover will be compromised. So you have to sort her out and give us back a functioning operative. Oh, if she puts him on the line again, I'll tell him to kill her. Do we understand each other? Yeah. Right, Caroline, you can thin for the evening. The rest of the team will stay on surveillance. I'm going to duck back to Hereford and give a sit rep. Oh, and while you're sorting out your operative, get the rest of your mob to find out where and when Lundberg is most vulnerable for a hit. Have you got anything from the girl's computer? No, but well, I... Well, then get on with it! Home. Couldn't sleep. You pissed? Operational with the team, yeah. The Hereford, an ops, I'm king of the castle. Outside, at home, I'm nothing. I rage about, and they just watch, waiting for me to leave so they can get on with their lives. But it's worse at the moment. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need to work, that's all. How's it been? It's quite late all round. And what did you get up to? Hello there, you two. Lorraine, we'd just like you to know that we really appreciate what you're doing. You know, it must be tough for you. You're a brave girl. Thank you. Sorry, I... Forget it. Jamie, it's pretty clear now. If it does happen, it'll be Lundberg again, so... Keep your eyes open. 